fuck him. All right. Right, so um, I've made a list. Just um, just wanted to do a little video. It's It's been a couple weeks since I posted. I mean, I'm sure you guys understand this time of year can get kind of crazy for folks. Well, it got crazy. It got well crazy. Okay. So, but I'm here, and it is the last day of 2021. So I just wanted to hop on, say hello. I've missed you. Hopefully you've missed me. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Anyway, I've missed you. That's the important thing. Long story short, let's just say, coming to you from Colorado, this week has been a hell of a week. Hell of a week. Not how I think a lot of us wanted to go out in 2021. And it's heartbreaking, and, and it's brought up a lot of things <clears throat> that are going to need to be processed well into 2022 and and that's understandable and i know i'm going to be processing too but moving on um i wanted to end 2021 with boy what a ride you know a lot of good things that happened a lot of really bad things that happened too but we're still here and or i'm still here <laughs> pushing through as you do because it's all you can do so you push through. But um, let's see, let's, what's happened? What's happened? Well, I started a YouTube channel. That's been entertaining for me, mostly, I think. <laughs> hey, it keeps me occupied. I don't know. I love it. Um, and it gives me a, a place to talk about um, like making things because that's what I do. I, I'm a full time massage therapist. I work from home, I have my own business. And I. And when I'm not doing massage, I have to be doing things with my hands. So jewelry, painting, sculpting. I like sculpting. Um, really getting into chain mail right now. Made these for myself tonight, you know. It's my New Year's Eve blingity bling bling. Um, these are made with the Sarah Lovecraft's Makers Mix in the Evergreen. I got those out of it. I also got a necklace too. I don't have the necklace on. It's in the front room. I ain't gonna go get it now, but it's pretty. I think it's pretty. Anyhow, long story short, um, giving myself something to do. Um, so this is good. There's been a lot of focus in 2021 and I've enjoyed that. And for 2022, I've made a list. I've, I don't make lists and I don't do New Year's resolutions because I feel like um, it, you, you kind of set yourself up for failure on some level. That's just my opinion. But I made a list this year of things that I would like to do in 2022. Um, mostly to help me focus. I have a really hard time focusing. I'm like squirrel. I have the attention span of a gnat. All right. Um, see, I've already lost my train of thought. That's just me. It's just, it's just how I roll. Um, but long story short, um, I just want to share with you some upcoming things for 2022. I've just recently discovered jelly prints. Well, again, making things. So I made my own jelly plate out of agar. Yeah, totally vegan friendly. I know, weird. Huh? Um, um, so there'll be a recipe coming soon on how I made my jelly plate and um, made a few prints. I don't have any in front of me right now to show you, but it's been, a, it's been, um, it's a lot harder than you think actually, because you have to kind of reverse engineer the print that you want to make, you know, like what color do you want in front and then build up your layers after that. So it's, that's, that's been really good for my brain. I like it. Um, and then what I've done with the prints my practice prints, I should say. They're not really great prints, but they're good practice prints. They're great for making boho beads. Heck yeah. So I've just been goofing around with those for the last hour or so. And I've got two that I've made. They're the boho beads. There are YouTube videos all over on making boho beads, you know? So that's what I did with them. Um, 
Um, can't really see the print in there because I've wrapped it with eyelash yarn and I don't want to focus on that. Wrapped it in beads and hung some pretties off of it. Um, but it's been a lot of fun. Very therapeutic. I don't know what to do with these. Maybe I'll make them into earrings. Or maybe I'll make like a dangle necklace. Or, um, those actually might be kind of fun Christmas ornaments for next year. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to play around with those. Lots of fun to make. Oh my gosh. Very addictive. If you're looking for something to be very meditative, um, I'll probably do a little tutorial. Not that there isn't a hundred other tutorials out there, but I'll probably do one on how I make my boho beads. Okay. So that's going to be something that's coming up. Show you how to make the jelly plate. Um, we'll play around together with jelly prints. I think that'll be fun. Um, chain mail. Um, I am just starting my journey with chain mail, so there's lots of other better videos out there. But I will do um, some videos on, you can watch me make chain mail and how much I screw up. And then it's it's kind of um, liberating, actually. <laughs> Let's learn together. Yay! All right, long story short, what else am I doing? How to clean jewelry. Oh my gosh. So, again, there's a lot of videos out there. Me, my best friend in high school, Sarah Beth. Hi, if you're watching this. Miss you, love you, know where you live. Um, she, she told, she did this once. It was fantastic. I had this beautiful silver that we were we were going out to the Big Apple one night or something and it was tarnished as hell because it was sterling and um, she took we all smoked back then well, I still kind of smoke but you guys don't want to see that anyway long story short um, she took cigarette ashes and licked her thumb and stuck it in the ashtray and rubbed the silver onk and shined it right up oh my god and so that's what I've done for the last 30 some odd years is I use ashes. I've used barbecue ash. I've used fireplace ash. I've used cigarette ash. All of them work the same. So there's some alternatives for you. Um, works brilliant. So I'm going to do a little video on polishing up some jewelry that's tarnished on me recently. And it's brilliant. It's quick, fast. Um, going to try and do a video a week. Sometimes there might, I know there's going to be some weeks where I just can't get it done, um, for whatever reason, but I'm, I'm shooting for 52 videos. That's a video a week in 2022. But the other thing I wanted to sort of delve into is I don't just do jewelry and crafts and that kind of thing. I also make tea blends. I make homemade tea blends. Um, I also make a topical balm with hemp flower that is an anti-inflammatory balm and works great for healing tattoos. So I use it on my tattoos to heal them. And um, what else is it? It's a great lip balm. And I've been working on the wrinkles on my eyes too. I don't know. secrets away <clears throat> um just you know when you hit i'll be 52 this year so i'm actually looking at some things anyway that's another video okay <laughs> long story short i'd like to do tea blends and how i make tea blends and why i make tea blends certain ways i make them for flu colds i make them to help sleep you know, Mother Nature gives us a lot of what we need to help take a little bit of control of our health. You just have to be mindful about it and treat it like medicine. Read, read the, read, read the um, side effects. Just because it's herbal doesn't mean it's safe for you. There's a lot of stuff out there that could actually hurt you. So, be it just um, I'm hoping to sort of delve into this with you guys and explain some herbs and things because I am a kitchen witch. Okay. Um, kitchen, kitchen witchery. That's, that's where we're at. Kitchen witchery. Um, 
Mm, oh, oh, and um, I'm also make nichos. I don't know if you know what nichos are. Do I have any? Uh, again, I don't have anything in front of me. Sardine tins, little shadow box sardine tins. And um, I have this idea for um, a gift for somebody that I want to make a Frida Kahlo nicho. And I want to do like a Frida Kahlo with the butterflies and roses in her hair. And I thought about doing like a 3D thing because it is a shadow box after all. And so I'm going to mess around with some polymer clay. And um, do I have that? Do I have that? Do I have that? I don't know. Oh, I do. I have it. I have it. Um, I found this great little silicone mold. So I'm going to mess around with some liquid polymer clay and see if I can't make little 3D butterflies to put around her hand in the Nicho. Um, yeah, I think I've pretty much, well, I've covered what I've come up with for at least, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, possibly six more videos. Yeah, going into 2022, like, yeah. So, yeah. Um, I think that's good. I think that's good. Today has been a very full day. Um, I've been running around, uh, dropping off cat food and returning live traps. Um, one of my neighbors is probably going to go into Boulder tomorrow. Fires in Boulder. Absolutely heartbreaking um but the one thing i think that gets forgotten about is people's pets um so she is actually going into boulder tomorrow and i offered to help i said just call me if you need an extra pair of hands in a car um but i did drop off some food and live traps that she had loaned me so i could get a squirrel out of my crawl space that's another story and um dropped off some stuff at my local brewery for um, another neighbor does like a, a homeless distribution thing. Um, I think Boulder's going to be getting a lot of help right now, and I'm really thankful for that. But it doesn't mean we can forget about some other things, and Denver's homeless population is one of those. I have a feeling it's going to get forgotten about while we take care of Boulder. Um, not really Boulder, but like Superior and Louisville, or Louisville. That's a southern in me say Louisville. Um, just, it was good. Visited with a lot of people today. Visited with my Yao family. Um, they're moving up to Wyoming. Uh, some of you know me, some of you don't, but you might understand that. It was good to see them. It was really good. I wish all y'all well. I wish all of you... What I wish everybody every year. Peace, light, and love. Know that whatever happens, you have a choice. And, and how you respond to things, how you do things. And just um, choose compassion, love, and nonviolence. The Buddhist in me coming out, I guess. I don't know. Um, that's what I choose. You know, there's enough ugly in the world. I don't need to contribute to that. You know? It's like, what does it do? What does it do? So, I, I try to do... I do what I can. And I'm only one person, but one person doing one thing in a compassionate, loving, and nonviolent sort of way makes some pretty bad pretty big ripples okay and I think that's it I think that's all I kind of wanted to to leave 2021 with leave y'all with and um, wish for you a beautiful thing in 2022 I hope it's good for you I'm hoping it's good for everybody so with that create a beautiful day it's in your hands man create a beautiful day all right so with that said i'm having a beer cheers oh and never above you never below you
but always by your side. Jink, jink. All right, that's my beer. That's my end of 2021 beer, moving into 2022. Oh, I forgot, I told, did I tell you this? I can't remember, squirrel, okay. Um, I have a big, massive pot of black eyed peas going in the kitchen because I haven't done black eyed peas in a while and I think I think I need to do black eyed peas and I'm going to smudge the shit out of my house here in a minute too so that's my plan for the next hour or so probably going to gonna just make check on the beans and I did sprouted black eyed peas well what sprouted 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 you got to sprout your beans sprout them and you won't be all gassy That's your tip for 2022. Okay. Right. I guess that's it. That's me out. So, um, cheers. Happy New Year. Peace, light, and love. Create a beautiful day. Bye.